Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to install your DT1 gasket upgrade. First, remove the handlebar, linkages, and the sheet clamp using the Allen keys provided with your machine. Once the sheet clamp is out of the way, you can now peel off the old gasket from the lower unit. It may not peel off cleanly, so you may have to pick off the pieces that get left behind, and once you have, you can use a tissue and rubbing alcohol to remove the remaining adhesive. Next, peel off the gasket that's on the sheet clamp. Now you can finally get ready to install the new gasket you'll see that the gasket is split into two parts. The thin part should be on top and the thick part on the bottom. The middle gap is where the sheet clamp slides into, like what you're seeing right now. Make sure it's pushed in and secure all the way around. This is so it'll stay in place while you apply the silicone glue. For this video, we used Cyclo Ultra Weld Gasket Maker, but any silicone glue will do as long as it's a high temp silicone which can stand up to around 250 to 300 degrees Celsius. Start with the top half of the gasket. Pull back the gasket and apply the silicone from one side to the other. Press down to make sure the glue adheres properly, then do the same all the way around. Flip over the sheet clamp and repeat. Press down on both sides for a few more times before leaving overnight for up to 24 hours for the silicone to cure completely. Once the silicone is cured, check to see if the gasket adhered properly to the sheet clamp and that you didn't miss any part of the gasket. You can do this by lightly pulling on it in different areas. If everything's good to go, you can now return the sheet clamp onto the machine. But before doing that, if your sheet clamp screws came with either a set of nylon or small metal washers, replace them with these kinds of washers which you can probably purchase at your local hardware store or wherever you can buy washers. Return the screws but not all the way tight. Make sure the sliders can still move up and down. Position the slider so that there's approximately a 1mm gap from the top of the sheet clamp and the top of the slider. You can now tighten the screws little by little, alternating both sides until they're secure. Repeat for the other side. Now return the linkages. Make sure they're at the correct orientation and start with the top screw and then the bottom. For the bottom screws, use the pair of extra washers from the sheet clamp. This might be a little tricky to do at first, but you'll line them up eventually. Once you have both linkages reinstalled, Check to see if there's resistance when you straighten it. Then check to see if the bottom of the new gasket is distorting when it comes in contact with the lower unit. Lastly, return the handlebar. Your machine is now ready to be tested with the new gasket. There should be an improvement with the air seal between the sheet clamp and the lower unit. We hope this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us on our social media or email us at feedback at vacuform.com.